everybody, this is April Stutzman. We got another episode here for you of Glory Stories. I'm so excited to be interviewing this special guest today to talk about the glory of God, some of the first times they experienced the presence of God, how they cultivated the presence of God, and different stories that impacted their life, whether it was transformation into glory, miracles that happened, and I want you to be a part of what this guest has to say, how they have experienced the heart of God in his presence so that you, my friend, can enjoy their story and see how you too can experience the glory and the presence of God in your everyday life. So I'd like to welcome my special guest that I'm interviewing. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to be doing another Glory Story episode tonight. I actually had to play with my Wi-Fi here for a minute. We are on the road in Kentucky. Got to pray and minister to some people last night. It was so awesome, but I'm excited to have Taryn um, Yancey on tonight. She is amazing. Hey, Timothy, how are you? Hey, David, how are you? I'm so excited to get to be talking to Taryn Yancey tonight from California. All my California friends and just talk about the glory and just give her a minute to log on here. And uh, I'm just excited. I've been getting so much feedback of how this glory story is just really speaking to people and helping them to understand the presence of God, how to cultivate the relationship with God. Hey, Donna, how are you? People are just logging on. If you know anybody with fibromyalgia, guys, um, just share this video, text them. We're gonna be praying specifically for many things tonight, but specifically for fibromyalgia. So I would say to share to a friend, tag a friend, send it to them, whatever you wanna do. I just wanna see people with um, fibromyalgia getting breakthrough tonight. So just keep telling me where you're logging in from, what state you're in. And uh, we'll get started here in a few minutes. It is, it is well, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We are in Kentucky, it's a beautiful shining day. And uh, I just love being able to, to minister to some friends around here. We had a lady that was healed of neuropathy last night. It was so exciting. Hey, Mariah, how are you? We prayed for a lady last night that um, had never felt her hands and feet like the neuropathy was so bad for i think she said for a whole year um hey michelle how are you from australia wow <laughs> that's awesome i bet your weather's awesome over there taryn will be logging on any minute and uh just give us a second to get her hooked up here but uh it, I just want to and take a second to just thank the Holy Spirit. I just really feel his presence really strong right now. So I just want to honor him. So we just thank you, Holy Spirit, for, for being here and uh, just letting whatever, whatever the Father wants to do tonight to just happen on this broadcast, Lord. We've seen about 10 healings on here, um, some deliverances. So I, I just really love the Holy Spirit. I don't know any other way to put it. If you've ever studied any um, Catherine Kuhlman's books, you know, it's just you, you build and cultivate a relationship with Holy Spirit. And I would say he, he knows all things. He's our teacher. So I just really, truly enjoy spending time with Holy Spirit. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother, you know. It's the Godhead. It's the Father, Son, and Father, I just released the glory of everybody watching. It's just as soon as I turned on the broadcast, it got really thick here. So, Lord, I just released this glory. If you're feeling this, just text me right now. I just released the glory. I released the glory over Kim. Hey, Kim. I released the glory over Michelle, over Mariah. Just let your presence just wash over them. Wash over them right now. Just continue. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? I'm just letting people log in. Taryn should be logging in. Any the glory is strong. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling too. So if you're feeling this glory, I just want to keep releasing it. I want to honor his presence. I just want to honor the Lord and the Holy Spirit while Taryn's logging in. I just uh hello everybody. Hey. 
<clears throat> so just just tell me if you're feeling this glory. I'm just going to keep imparting it to you guys for a second. I'm just you're learning so much about the Holy Spirit. I'm so excited to hear that, Mariah. That's so encouraging. Hey Beth. Hey Vince. Um, the invite went in. Um, thank you, Lord. Just Lord, you keep releasing the glory. You can just request it, Taryn. The invite. You can just hit a button that says like you did in the live. We're just figuring out technical difficulties, but the Holy Spirit is just, the glory is just so thick right now. Somebody said cold chills. Um, thank you, Beth. Thank you, Beth. So yeah, if you're feeling, sometimes the Holy Spirit feels like cold chills. Sometimes the presence, people describe the, the presence so many different ways, the glory of God. They feel it by um, cold chills, some feel a bit like a fresh wind, some just feel like a thickness and a heaviness. Hey mom, how are you? And uh, I just released the glory right now. Uh, everybody says they're feeling it really thick, so I'm just honoring the Holy Spirit, honoring His presence real quick, and just allowing it to shift your atmosphere. I just want you guys to feel His presence for a minute, because it's all about Him. It's all about Jesus, the Father, the Holy Spirit, the Godhead, three in one. And I just, uh, I feel him so heavy. I just want you to experience him. He may just speak to you right now in, in this, this heavy glory. He may just show you a picture. He may just, uh, just show you something that you've been asking. So that's why I'm just kind of sitting here for a second as Taryn comes on. <laughs> there she is. Hey, lady. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's all right. We have such a heavy glory over here. I'm just sharing yes. it with everybody. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I was watching, and then for some reason, I couldn't find the comments and the green, you know, light myself button. That's, I can see the glory on my hands. One of the, Michelle is already seeing glory show up on her hands. Isn't that awesome? God is so amazing. <laughs> So we continue. Lord, I'll just release the glory. I just want to welcome the amazing guest, Taryn Yancey. I'm so excited. She's a prophetic voice that's emerging, a blog writer. You got the vintage romance style blog. You're an intercessor, a glory carrier. You carry so much. You do deliverance. So I just want to thank you for coming on tonight. And I can't wait to see what God's going to do for you tonight. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on. I, I'm just so thankful to be able to share my story and come together, especially mm -hmm. with you. We are a force to be reckoned with <laughs> Yeah, in overcoming, you know, Amen. incurable medical conditions. So I am Amen. really excited to release that tonight. Yeah, can't wait to see what God's going to do. And, and you got to go with some amazing friends, Beth and and. Aaron to uh, Africa to Malawi so that's so cool we'll probably talk about some of that tonight so um, we have some people on here that are getting closer to the Holy Spirit as they're watching these and learning things so if you want to talk about that tonight that's great whatever Holy Ghost leads you but we're just going to start off and I'm going to ask you when is the first time you ever experienced the glory of God um wow well, I know there's there's a couple, I mean, recently, especially with going to Africa, mm -hmm. uh, I have just been immersed in the glory this past month. Praise God. But um, when, starting when I was little, I could, the Lord had opened my eyes into the spirit realm. Amen. And I, and because of that, the enemy had a target on me. So I went in and out you know, of believing there was a God and there wasn't, or there was a God and then there wasn't a God. And I just questioned his existence. Wow. So one day, it after I got married, I had a baby. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to see if God is real. Like, I'm just hungry to know. I want a, I want the Lord to show up in the room. And my hunger was so deep that he met me there. Amen. So I said, Lord, if you are real, I want you to show up. And let me tell you, I laid on that couch for hours and hours saying, Lord, I believe 
I believe you're real, but I really want to know you're real. Lord, show up. Holy Mm. Spirit, show up. Holy Spirit, I want to... I want to pray in tongues. Like, I just want to be immersed in you. And so I just prayed and I kept pressing in and pressing in. And all of a sudden, his tangible presence came upon me. This was 12 years ago. Hmm. Praise God. The weighty glory pressed me down into my couch. I couldn't get up. I started praying in tongues for the first time Hmm. Hmm. and then the Lord allowed me to interpret my tongues and my tongues were, I was saying, God, you are so real. God, you are so real. And Hmm. that Hmm. moment marked my life. Like it was incredible. And ever since then, the Lord has met me in my hunger And sometimes I have been stubborn and said, Lord, there is more. There has to be more. There has to be more. And he has shown up every single time. Even when I doubted his existence, he still proved to me that he loved me enough to show me he was real. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask you a few questions about that hunger in a second. But the Lord highlighted to me. Somebody's watching on here, and I felt the Holy Spirit, Taryn, as you were talking. And I I see that the Holy Spirit was reminding me that my story, our stories are like identical. It's so funny. When you're called to be a seer prophet, and when your eyes are available to see at a very young age, you see things in the Spirit. It's in the Word of God. David consulted (laughs) seer prophets. And you start seeing things. The enemy tries, the same thing happened to me. He tries to give you that fear and you immediately get attacked. That's what I've seen. So I just think that me and you together in unity as we go on, that we just pray over people's anointing to see right now. Is that okay with you? Let's just go for it. So, Lord, we just come together in unity. We just break any spirit of fear off of you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Woo. Any hindering spirits to your seer gift right now, we just thank you, Lord. We just declare the people who are watching are razor sharp. And, Taryn, you can yes. pray whatever you feel led. Thank you, Holy God. Spirit. Lord, I pray that the scales would be taken yes. off their lives, that they may see you with more clarity, Father God, that you would open up their eyes and expose them to the things that you want them to see. And I break off any hindrances, any attacks of the seer gift in the name of Jesus. And that I break off fear, fear of seeing the demonic. I break that off right now because when the Lord opens up your eyes to see, you're going to see both sides, the angelic, the demonic, Anything, dreams, visions, it could come in any any form, um, in any realm. And Amen. sometimes there is a fear that is attached to seeing the demonic. So I break that off of you right Amen. now. In Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Amen. Powerful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So just don't be surprised if you're able to start seeing things in the spirit realm. You know, you also... Probably, I know we both kind of flow in discerning of spirits, and discerning of spirits is discerning spirits. You discern human spirits, you discern angels, and you discern demons, and that's what she's talking about. So don't be afraid, because we do not get into a spirit of fear, but amen. So I want to talk about your hunger. The Holy Spirit highlighted that to me. So what would you say to the people on here that are hungry, but they've never felt the glory, but their hunger's growing? For me, just being real with God and saying, Amen. Lord, I'm hungry for you. Come on. I'm not trying. There's no, um, you know, X, Y, and Z to get the glory. There's, there's no manual to get the glory. It is just a pure relationship with the Father, the Son, and the mm-hmm. Holy Spirit. And if you go after the yes. Holy Spirit as a friend and you're hungry Amen. to know who the Holy Spirit is, he is going to show up. 
He's going to come alongside you and you'll start to feel his presence. And yeah. he will meet you in your hunger. As hungry as you are, he's going to feed you that level, uh, at that level. Just the deeper you want to be immersed in who he is, he's going to meet you in that depth. So keep pressing in, no matter how hungry you are, and no matter how long it takes, never stop pursuing the face of Jesus. Yeah, somebody just commented and said, see with your eyes of your heart. And that's yeah. so true. Don't you just love how the word says, you know, that the eyes of our understanding be enlightened in our heart? Um, just speak anything you want to about that. Yes, when you are seeking the face of Jesus with all of your heart, he starts to bring you into the secret place and he starts sharing his mysteries with you because he can trust you. He Come trusts on. you as a best friend, as a son and a daughter. Hmm. He brings you into his realm, his glory realm that he resides in and we give him glory and he lives in the glory. So when we press in to knowing who he is, the glory will come and it, everything comes out of our hearts. Everything Amen. flows on. out of our hearts. Amen. So I know you went through a journey as, as well as me. There, there are similar stories about um, some struggles that we had to, to fight through, to find our way to the glory. So do you want to share some of the, the struggles kind of, you could say, I, some people describe it as like the dark night of the soul or learning their authority. Like everybody describes it different. So share anything about um, what you had to walk through during those seasons. Um, starting when I was younger, probably around my teenage years, the enemy really, really got a hold of me. And I'm talking depression, suicidal thoughts, um, I would have demons come into my bedroom. I mean, if I'm just being real. I've been there. Same here. They yeah. would come and lay in the bed with me, and the bed would get pressed wow. down. They would hold me down. They would choke wow. me. They would actually, this sounds almost impossible, but it's it's not. They would actually keep my bedroom door shut, and I couldn't get out, and I had no locks wow. on the door. Wow. So they were, like, almost holding me hostage, and I thought I was going crazy. At this yeah. point, I wasn't even really safe. You were discerning, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was discerning, I mean, just What's crazy demonic manifestations. Mm -hmm. And so I went through this journey of, I got over that. The Lord miraculously broke that off of me. And I didn't even mm -hmm. know that it could be broken off of me supernaturally mm -hmm. back then. Then I had that encounter. In the, my first glory encounter, I thought, everything changes. Amen. There's power in the name of Jesus. So do you felt like in the glory that, that the fear of everything just fell off or like trauma from having to go through such a battle that you had to go through over um, your gift? So as soon as I encountered the glory, the demonic or there was a specific demon that actually came to reside in my bedroom and he would torment me every night. Wow. And the Lord said, I have given you the authority to trample on, on snakes, on. you know, to cut off the snakes. On. You have to use your words. Go you on. have to face it head on. And he showed me, I have to walk down the hallway. I have to open up my bedroom door and I have to look at the thing and say, I am not afraid of you. There's power in the name of Jesus, and I Come take a hold over you and get out. And Amen. that demon left and never came back. And that was Come my on. first real taste of taking authority over the demonic realm. And from then on, I have known that just the power of the name of Jesus. Come on. It's higher than any other power. So then I went on this more journey. Everything has been a journey. Hmm. And then um, a few years ago, I was, you know, diagnosed with fibromyalgia, just like you were. 
And then I had to learn a whole nother level of authority there. Come on. Yep. Amen. So that was really hard. And if there's anybody who's watching, who is going through a health battle and you feel like there's no end, Come the on. Lord wants you to know that you need to keep contending for your promise because Come by on. the stripes you are healed. Keep contending, keep pressing in. And the Lord showed me that when you're up against such a huge battle where you feel like, Lord, this is too much, either kill me or take it away, that you need to use your own authority and come against it and break it off. And it is your words that hold life and death within you. So you need to grab a hold of your life with your words and speak the opposite of everything you're going through. Even when you see nothing happening, you keep speaking those promises. Come on. I love how you share that. Um, I wrote that book about Gateway to My Miracle, describing the same process we walk through. You get to the point where you're just, you, you're not gonna tolerate it anymore and you learn your authority. And it's so amazing, the similar callings and the similar same attacks. Um, I had to break off years of trauma. I had to curse the roots of trauma and infirmity and affliction. And we'll, we'll pray for that at the end of this broadcast. But like you, I had to break off the lies. Is God going to heal me? Does God still heal? And, and if you find yourself asking these questions, like what Terrence talked about, you can get my book, Gateway to My Miracle. It has a lot of answers about um the process I had of renewing my mind, like she said, about does God still heal today? And is my miracle possible? Because I, I know as the desperation was coming through for your breakthrough for that fibromyalgia, I just thank you, Lord, that you're even going to increase their faith as they heal our, hear our testimonies of being healed. Because like Taryn, it's so debilitating. And the enemy... Mm -hmm. Um, just tries to shut you down. It's like a life sucker. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. It sucks the life out of you. Yeah. Um, you can't do anything. It holds you back from your destiny. Like Come on. it, it tries Come on. to cut off your destiny because Come on. you can't even leave the house to do anything for the Lord or to speak to anybody because you're either sleeping or you're so paralyzed with pain and chronic fatigue. Yeah. It just, it steals your life. And just, Lord, I command every lying tongue and word curse sent against people. Yeah, come on. Open off right now. And I cut off, I command the pain to leave right now yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah, that you Lord. shall steal destinies no more. Come on. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So yeah. Lord, we just we just command any infirmity and affliction spirits right now. We just break any generational curse of trauma right now that could have opened that door to people. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, we just curse all trauma and stress at its root. In the name of Jesus Christ, we just speak the the presence i just thank you lord that your glory is going forth and delivering right now we just release your glory we release your glory just break the memory cells of all that trauma from the chronic fatigue from all the stress from all the the pain we just command that breakthrough right now we command that pain to be completely gone thank yeah. you lord and i even see somebody on here with suicidal thoughts so we just come together in unity. We just command that spirit of suicide off of you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ is higher than any chronic fatigue. It's higher than any fibromyalgia. It's higher than whatever you need for your breakthrough. Keep pressing into this glory. Keep yeah. pressing in. Holy Spirit, just touch them. Feel them. Let your presence come over. Let your presence pour in. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. Thank you, Terrence. Yes. And for those of you ha that have had or that have fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue or anything, the years that the enemy has stolen, him, I declare he has to give it back to you. 
He has to give yes, his soul and his back to you. Come on. And I just Come hear on. the Lord say, double for your trouble. Come on. Double <laughs> for your trouble. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We shouldn't be so impressed by the circumstances in our life more than being impressed by the blood of Jesus. Come on. So the blood true. of Jesus is over it has authority over every circumstance in your life, no matter what you're going through. Yeah, be impressed so with the blood of Jesus. Yeah, we just speak against any hopelessness right now. We just command that off your mind. We just declare over you that you have the mind of Christ, that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. We just yes. declare that over you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So it's like, I love what you said, Taryn, because when I was in the darkest hour contending for breakthrough and fibromyalgia, the Lord gave me a, an open vision, like you said, that seer realm of a warrior with a sword in my hand. And as I prayed in the spirit, the devil was mm -hmm. defeated. And it's just yeah. like you find that, that authority, the, the mm -hmm. true, the, the true identity of who we are, you yeah. know? Yeah. The Lord recently reminded me, I said, Lord, I've been through so much. I don't deserve what you have for me mm -hmm. in my future, my destiny. And he said, daughter, you are a royal bloodline. Come on. You are a daughter of a king. You have mm. access to everything in the kingdom. So you need to use your inheritance. Come and my on. inheritance is authority Come on. over anything that comes against me. Amen. And you too can take authority over what you're going through because you are of royal bloodline and you have access to the heavenly armies you have access to the throne room you have access to the face of jesus so you need to run after your inheritance and take back what the enemy has stolen yeah amen as i know as soon as i i was thinking about you today and excited about doing the glory story with you and the lord kept saying to me romans eight fourteen. Uh, that we are led, we are daughters that are led and sons of God. We are led by the Spirit. And that was one of the things that he showed me, that you were so sensitive to be led by the Spirit. So I want you to just talk about um, how you learn to be led by the Spirit for somebody that maybe this is the first time they've listened to a podcast or listened to a Facebook Live, and they want to say, how in the world do I follow the Spirit? This is new to me. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. For me, it was listening to that still small voice. Come on. If it lined up with the word of God, I knew it was the Lord. And so I would listen to that still small voice. And I was obedient to even the small things. Come and the on. Lord entrusted me with more. And as I kept pressing in, and I would be led by that still small voice. Then he began to give me dreams and visions. And he opened up a whole nother realm because I started with the small. Come on. Started with the small and pressed in as a friend. And he led me through that. And mm -hmm. the Lord just told me one day, obedience is the key that unlocks the miracles in your life. Come on. So be obedient to that still, small voice. And you need to attune your ear Come on. to decipher the enemy's voice versus the Lord's voice. And once you know the way that the Lord speaks to you, you need to be obedient to that. And then it will grow. And he'll entrust you with more. And then he'll show you more in the realm of dreams and visions, if that's what he has for you. Yeah, I, I just feel like you're speaking to somebody on here that maybe they don't believe they hear from the Lord, but they're a seer and just don't know it. So if you want to talk about maybe different ways that you discern the Lord other than hearing, um, 
at his still small voice, but any of your sensories that you've discerned the voice of the Lord? Um, you can also do it. I know seers and people who discern things are feelers. And it's not an earthly emotion most or sometimes. It will come on you. And then you can, that's an invitation for you to ask the Lord, Lord, is this me? Or is this something that's in the atmosphere? Is this something that I need to pray or break off of somebody else? Because if you know your identity in Christ and, and what you're feeling doesn't line up with who you are in the way that you think, then it's something else. And then the Lord will show you, okay, go pray for this person they are going through what you're feeling. Sometimes the emotions of other people will come upon you. And you can pray into that and just ask the Lord, what is that? Um, you can discern by even supernatural smells in the atmosphere. You know that he has walked in and he'll show you different things. Um, just really... There's so many ways the Lord can speak. Amen. He can Amen. Speak, he can speak however he wants to speak. If it's in nature, if it's in the clouds, if yeah. um, you just get a feeling that an angel is present, you know, you'll, the Lord will open up things to you and it's available to you. You don't have to be special or anything like that to sense the presence of God. I feel like that's why the Holy Spirit kept giving me that verse is Romans eight fourteen that this is what we're talking about is being led by we're the sons and daughters of God we are we are led by the Spirit of God and that's the Holy Spirit you know and so I'm just gonna throw this out there for what somebody's just beginning to see I just keep picking up the seer that's beginning to see and I'm just gonna give you an example because I know you can handle it so I see lemonade. Just let me just say, I'm praying for you and I see lemonade. What would you do if God just showed you lemonade? What's the process that you go through with Holy Spirit to say, why are you showing me lemonade? Because they are hearing from God when they see these pictures. Mm -hmm. So if I'm praying for somebody and I see lemonade, my mm -hmm. mind immediately goes to the Lord is bringing you through a season of refreshing and he Come wants on. to quench your thirst. Come on. He wants to quench your thirst. And the Lord can show you these, you know, these little things and images that are behind your eyes. And I feel like there's some of you, you see, Come on. and you're second guessing, and you're seeing things like in your, um, what you would call an imagination. But really, that is from the Lord. If it lines up with the word of God, and you test the spirits, and you have a track record, you start gaining a track record with the Lord. Come on. The imagination realm, the Come Lord on. created that for his glory to Amen. show you things. So you need to pay attention. I, and you need to steward what the Lord is Come giving on. you. So whether it's dreams, visions, or hearing the still small voice, I would write it down. And start to train yourself, like, and continually go over what you're hearing, your writing. Amen. And just go over that and say, Lord, how are you speaking to me? And what are you saying in these situations? I love that. I love that you said we have to steward it because that's one of the things that I, I learned to cultivate over time is to write down the dreams. If you're a seer, sometimes God will speak to you a lot in dreams, but he speaks to his children in, in dreams as general. Just as a seer, you might have twice as many, but um, whew, man, I'm just feeling the glory. <laughs> Come Holy Ghost. We just say thank you, Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Jesus gives us access to the glory. Yeah. And, uh, hey, Madeline, I love that. Mm -hmm. Jesus, the stewardship leads to more. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Um, I asked them ice cream. Somebody says, I see an ice cream. Then I asked them what flavor and start activating their gifts. So I love that. Um, so Lord, we just, we just thank you that we just encourage every seer on here. That's watching that, that, uh, maybe they second guess their self and we just, we just bless their gifts. And we just thank you, Lord, that 
that even revelation, I, I just feel revelation, the spirit of revelation and understanding to just open up to them more about their calling and their gifting that you have for them, Lord. Yes. Ooh. Greater dimensions. Come on. The Lord is inviting you, you into greater dimensions. Come on. And when you seek the face of Jesus, he will show you great and mighty things. So just keep pressing in and keep trusting that what you're seeing is from the Lord. Don't second guess yourself. Yeah. That's what I keep seeing the Holy Spirit circle and back around to people on here. Not to second guess themselves because just as we have regular senses sight smell taste touch we have spiritual senses and so sometimes i've smelt the demonic and i've known you know is it in the environment then i'll talk to holy spirit and say is it anything i need to do about it sometimes he says no so that's a really important question too i I just want to say as you're seeing and sensing and feeling or tasting the goodness of the Lord in your mouth like honey, Mm -hmm. whatever spiritual sense you're discerning, ask the Holy Spirit whether you're supposed to do anything about it or if he's just speaking to you. Has there ever been a time, Taryn, that God has shown you something and just said, that's just for you to know? (laughs) That's so funny. (laughs) My thoughts, I was just about to speak on not everything you see and hear you are supposed to share because he shares his secrets to those he trusts Come and then on. he can hold it in and steward what he has given you. He can trust you. And then he will let you know this is for now, or this is for later, later, or this is just between me and you. Come on. It's like a marriage. You don't. Yeah, it is like a marriage. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, it's like a marriage. It is. The Holy Spirit. Yeah, it is. It is. And the more you honor him and the more you invite him and the more you, like what you said earlier, be obedient. That's one of the biggest things I learned in stewarding. And like you said, even to the small things, like the Holy Spirit told me to give up whipped cream. I'm like, what? I love whipped cream. But I was drinking it every day on my coffee. I know some lady out there might appreciate that. But it was just the fact of he wanted to see that's not healthy. So are you going to be obedient? And something that doesn't make any sense in the spirit realm, you could say. But in the natural, he was testing me for many other tests besides that. That was just one of the small ones. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, the Holy Spirit has asked me to do things that I'm like, This doesn't seem like it's a big deal, Mm, but because because you are obedient to giving up whipped cream, he's going to entrust you with something bigger. And it's always more, it's like, okay, lay down this, lay down this, and he's getting ready to, or he's using that as a training for what's to come. Come on. Even as you were speaking that, I seen the people on here watching, you're going to start getting some uncommon instructions from the Holy Spirit because you're under the sound of our voice. So I just feel like the Holy Spirit's heart for more intimacy with everybody that's watching or under the sound of my voice playing this on podcast. So just be asked, ask the Lord this week, Lord, give me uncommon instructions because I'm going to say yes. And I believe if you ask the Lord, for uncommon instructions and what he wants you, yes, surrender all. Amen. Start writing them down. Start writing down these uncommon instructions because you, as you follow them, you're going to cultivate like what Taryn's talking about. You're going to cultivate your gifting, your anointing. And Taryn, I believe for me and you that the generational line had some effect on our lives and breaking generational curses, um, I just see that as one of the main destiny killers, one of them, is things that, that are, have went on in the bloodline. Yes, it's it's been beat and destroyed and dismantled by Jesus Christ, but you have to apply that. So yes. I don't know about you, but I had to repent for a lot of stuff in my bloodline that has kept that fibromyalgia from ever coming back. It's never came back. And so if you're on here and 
you've had like a lot of sickness and disease in your family. That's why we broke. And I, I just feel like the Lord's circling back around here. If there's any generational curse of infirmity over your bloodline, we just repeat this after me. I just repent on behalf of my ancestors, myself, and my descendants. And I just repent for any iniquity that would open up that, that generational curse of infirmity. I just cut the cord of that iniquity and command every demon of infirmity yes. out of my life. Right now, right now, I just see strength coming back into somebody's bodies. Yes. Whoa, Holy Spirit, just fill them up. Yes. Fill them up. Any anxiety or PTSD, we just command that off right now. Yes. Right now. Whoa. Yes. Generational addictions. Come on. I break that off right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Yes. Jesus. Generational depression. I break you off right now in the name of Jesus. Wow. My aunt, my grandpa, my dad all passed away from a heart attack. Wow. So, Lord, we just yeah. break any. We just repent on behalf of their ancestors herself and her descendants for any but any premature death in that bloodline we just cut any curse of premature death off the bloodline yes. in the name of jesus christ we command that spirit out in jesus name when i first started in deliverance um <laughs> my word of knowledge taryn it was all new to me you know stepping into words of knowledge and i get up in the school of supernatural and have to release a word of knowledge you know when you're first starting out it's like oh god there's a hundred people in the room you know, and the word of knowledge the Lord gave me was a deliverance word, and I was the only one in there with a deliverance word. So I was like, "Oh God, Lord, you know, what do you want me to do?" I'm like, "This is not a healing word. You really want me yeah. to release this?" But I had to be obedient. It was testimony obedience. Yeah. And I broke off a generational curse of premature death, and the lady started crying in front of me. I was like, uh, "What in the world of?" Right now, somebody just said it bind any divination. We just bind that, mm -hmm. shut that down, wherever that's coming from, Lord. Um, but it's so funny because when she, I was like, Holy Spirit, like, I just stepped out. Why is she crying? And I was like, oh, no, did I upset her? She said, God just showed me that the enemy had already, that spirit had been in my bloodline and it already planned on killing my two-year-old granddaughter. And through your prayer and breaking that curse off the bloodline, that child is now going to be able to be raised up and, and I'm just declaring that child's salvation. Ooh. Sharp pain go across my left eye. When you prayed against uh, generational addiction, I had a sharp pain go across my left eye. Donna said, thank you. Lord. Thank you. Just feel like the Holy Spirit is saying we need to break off generational cancer. Come on. I know there is a lot of cancer in my family, and I've broken it off in my bloodline, and Come I on. said it stops. Amen. It's Come on. Me. That spirit of death. More. Come on. So, Lord, we just break off Come right on. now in the name of Jesus. Any generational cancer curses spirit of death we break you up the bloodline in the mighty name, name of jesus. jesus come on mighty name of jesus thank you lord in jesus name i'm just seeing what holy spirit i just i, I just see his hunger um he keeps coming back to intimacy mm -hmm. so what were some of the things that you could talk about that hindered your intimacy at the beginning. That could help uh, somebody. Focusing on circumstances in my life where my, I, um, just things that were going on around me. I had drama and, you know, everybody has drama in their life, but I focused on that and I wasn't, really listening to what the Holy Spirit said of stay away from this person, you know, 
as like, but I, I want to hang out with him or I want to watch this certain TV show. Come on. Or, so good. or I still want to listen to, you know, the music I listened to in high school. And the Lord was like, I'm calling you to more. You can't be who you used to be and know, fully know who I am. There's Come things on. you have to leave behind and leave it in the past. And so by me still wanting to be, you know, half in the world and half trying to seek Jesus, you can't get the fullness of who God is while still trying to be your past self in the world. So that really hindered me. And I finally fully surrendered. It's like, Lord, whatever you ask of me, I will give it up. I will stop filling my eyes and my ears Come on. with things that have assignments attached to it Come on. or, um, you know, demonic, demonic assignments to come even to torment. I, I was opening up doors that shouldn't be opened and come on. it didn't seem like that big of a deal. But when you're called to a higher place, when you are called to ascend the mountain, Come you can't on. be doing what everybody else is doing. Come on. You have it's to that, surrender. It's that spirit of holiness and the process. And we keep talking about deliverance because the more you get delivered, the more you get to experience the glory. You know, it, it's it's like like God's just saying he's pure. I think there's an intimate relationship that you get with the Holy Spirit where he just purifies your heart. And it's a journey. And it's an everyday, yes, or an everyday repentance and, and keeping your heart in alignment and keeping it in check. Um, my husband said to break off any um, spirit. So I just kept seeing a spirit of insanity mm -hmm. yeah. on somebody right now. Mm. So, come on. Either one of us. Go ahead. You go for it. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We're in unity. Yes. I command the lying tongues and lying spirits Come on. to leave Jesus. those minds in the name of Jesus. I declare that you have the mind of Christ and we cut off those demonic voices that are trying to get you to run off the course and steal your destiny. I declare and decree the mind of Christ over you. And I want to break off brain fog yeah, in the name on. of Jesus. I speak clarity, clarity to your mind in the name yeah. of Jesus. Yeah, and Lord, I, we just declare if there's any generational curse of insanity, we cut the cord of that iniquity and we command every spirit of insanity off right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, just fill them up, Holy Spirit. Fill the them up, Holy Spirit. The Lord keeps reminding me, or Holy Spirit keeps reminding me, I don't know if there's anybody on here, but in their right ear, they don't have full hearing. I don't know if it... Just respond if you're on here. Deafness. Partial deafness. Okay. So if that's a word of knowledge for you, just respond and let us know. Um, or it feels ooh. like you're been clogged up. I'm just stepping out on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just... I'm just hearing any uh, migraines. Somebody has trauma to the neck and it keeps causing migraines. So I just command that trauma mm -hmm. off your neck. We just declare alignment mm -hmm. from C1 to C7 right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. We just declare every vertebrae and disc to be where it's supposed to be in Jesus' name. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We just release the glory. I just feel the glory building, guys. So I'm just releasing it because I want you to feel it. Some people, um, somebody said, I have inflammation in my right ear. So there's your word. Yeah, so Jesus. Come Jesus, I speak to that ear. I speak to that eardrum. And I declare healing since five years. Wow. That's since five years. So come we on. declare and come into agreement, Lord. I yeah. speak healing to Cecilia's ear. Lord, yeah. open up her ear. Heal her ear, Lord. Come on, we take authority over the attack of her ear. 
I declare she shall hear fully and it be fully restored in the name of Jesus. Yes. So, Cecilia, if you see any changes, just text us. But the Lord was showing me that was actually an attack against you here in the voice of God. Mm -hmm. So we just break off any deaf or dumb spirit that could be attached to that assignment right now in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. And we just declare restitution over your ear right now in the name of Jesus Christ. So just tell us, Cecilia, if there's any... Um, change in your in your hearing and i know we will probably continue to release some words of knowledge but i just want to ask you taryn um we talked about the first time you you felt the glory what are some ways that you've cultivated since then that have really brought you new stages of breakthrough really it has been setting aside aside time to spend time with the lord you know what I like? I, I treat the Holy Spirit and God and Jesus as my best friend. So really what has cultivated the glory in my life is saying, okay, Lord, at 10 o'clock tonight, I'm meeting you in the secret place. Come like on. every night, setting aside time, you know, face down to the floor or listening to soaking music and pressing in and he'll show me things. He'll show me his mysteries in the secret place. And I've learned that what I cultivate in the secret place, it will manifest as I go Come out. Come on. So, so if somebody's on here and they've never heard of the secret place, just describe how easy that really is. You know what? Before I even knew what it was, I would hear other people talk about the secret place and like, okay, this what is that place. Um, you know, <laughs> high level profit, only the chosen people get to go there. And then the Lord was like, no, I'm bringing you in. Let's go there. I'm going to show you who I am. But mm -hmm. really, you can enter into the secret place so easily. Come on. It is, I mean, it's almost so easy that Come sometimes on. you're like, God, is this really you? Are we really here right now? But it's in that realm where you just let yourself relax. Come on. And you listen. Prayer isn't about talking and speaking nonstop. It's about listening to the voice of the Lord. Come on. And then with your eyes shut, eyes open, he'll begin to give you visions and take you into these places in the realm of the spirit. And show you things. And don't second guess what you see. I always love to say Jesus Christ is the gateway to every spiritual experience. Yes. So uh, the people say, well, you're, you're talking about this realm or that realm or your spiritual senses. Well, that was God's gift first. We, were the, we are the, Jesus Christ is the one and, and God the Father and Holy Spirit is who made the supernatural first. And anything counterfeit was stolen. Yes. So, so that's what I just like to preface because people yes. were talking about um, removing distractions is one of the things mm -hmm. somebody suggested on here that they removed distractions. But I like what Taryn said because it truly is a choice. You're just one choice away from the glory of God, the presence of God in the secret place. Yes. And I've learned that you go there by faith. And it's only on. through the blood of Jesus and by the invitation of the Holy Spirit only. Come on. Yeah. You go there Amen. by faith and you could hear the Lord say, come up here with me or mm -hmm. let me show you this. And you're like, okay, hey, Lord, let's go. And you, and the Holy Spirit will show you those things. Come on. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yes, Michelle says we are seated in heavenly places. Yes, we are co-seated, rule and reign as a son and daughter of Christ. And we have access into our eternity now. We have access to the throne room. It's really like fun. It, like, it is fun. It's, it's really like fun. heavenly strategies. Like, let's just give an example. I'll give a short one. I'll let you give a short one. And, and just see where you go with it. So I feel total freedom. But I'll just give an example. Like if I'm praying for my son and I don't know how to pray, yes, we can pray in the spirit. But I could do like Taryn's talking about on here and I could make a choice and I could go in my bathroom and just sit there 
you know, and, and sit beside the bathtub on the floor and say, Lord, I need, I need to just hear from you. I can quiet myself, make that choice to get in the secret place and say, show me how to pray for my son. Yes. And then he could see, he could, sh like what Taryn was talking about, your senses, you can see with the eyes of your imagination, the eyes of your heart will be mm -hmm. enlightened. The understanding of God will come to your heart on how to pray, whether it's for a spouse or, you know, I could smell um, roses, roses for my son. And I could ask the Holy Spirit, what is that? And he could say, pray that he notices the, the smell of my fragrance, that his spiritual senses are awakened. So I'm just giving you examples. So Taryn, share any example of, of strategies that you have found in the secret place or anywhere you want to go with that. Um, yeah. Just whenever I'm feeling down, Come on. And, you know, everybody goes through seasons of feeling like they're inadequate to walk Come out on. their destiny and they're feeling insecure. You can just sit with the Lord and say, Lord, who do you say I am? Come and on. the Lord will show you and love on you and and just lift you up. And then you come out of it with such confidence mm -hmm. of, I am a son or daughter of God. And I can do, you know, I can take on the world because the Lord showed me who I am. And it's mm -hmm. funny because Jesus is really playful. And he loves mm -hmm. to hang out. He loves, this is going to sound funny, but he loves to eat. Like, he mm -hmm. loves to break bread with you. Come on. Um, and he likes to have fun Come on. because we are the children of God. We can enter in and he will show you blueprints to your life and lift you up all at the same time. Come on. Michelle mentioned praise and worship. Yes. And sometimes for me, I just love it when I'm traveling to put on some good soaking music. It can be just <laughs> instrumental. So if you're on here and you're watching and you're trying to learn what soaking is or you're listening to this podcast as me and Taryn are talking about soaking, just put on some good like praise and worship, soaking music, and it could be all instruments. And just write down, look to see what the Father's doing like Jesus did. Come as a child. Yeah, amen. You come as a child and look to see what the Father's doing. Write it down. Journal it. I know sometimes I don't even want to stop thinking about what's going on in the glory enough to write it down. But as I've stewarded it and I've needed to look back at that. So I would just say, get a journal, step out, put a, say, say, Terry and April are talking about the presence and the glory and the Holy spirit. And I'm hungry. And, and Lord, I just ask, just ask the Lord, just say, can your glory, Lord, I just worship you. Just start worshiping the Lord. Yeah. Just start honoring him as you worship the glory the Lord, you can just feel his presence build and build and build. It creates that, that portal. There was a place I used to go lay and soak Taryn and it was the same spot. And as soon as I would sit in that chair, because I cultivated it over a long period of time, I could just feel the glory of the instant I, I pressed, like there was no distraction. Isn't that awesome? Yes. When you get to that place. Yes, and then you wish you could live in the glory realm. It's like, Let's, okay, we have to go do laundry. You know, we have to be. I know. It's like, ah. Can I just soak in the Press glory in. while I drive the kids to school? Like, I want. Amen. Every Come on. <laughs> yeah, every moment. And I just want to challenge you. If you're a well-versed believer and you, you, you're watching us right now, I believe it's getting better for ears. So we just continue to be in agreement right now. We just release that healing anointing. Any infirmity in that ear, get out in the name of Jesus. So we just declare that Cecilia's ear is going to be totally restored and reversal of all those effects. Yeah. In Jesus' name. I just know that, uh, man, I'm getting so... The Holy Ghost is just showing up in joy right now. The joy Jesus. of the Lord is your strength. I'm trying to remember what I was even asking you. Oh, Holy Ghost, we just love you. We just love love the presence. Yeah. yeah. Anything, mm. go for it, Karen. Woo. I just release this glory. Yes, just 
just want to release a greater dimension of glory Come into on. your lives and a greater Come hunger on. to know who Come God on. is. It's through intimacy that the glory comes into your life. And the more intimate you are with Jesus, he's drawing us back in there again. The more intimate you are with Jesus, come on. The more glory you will carry. Come on. And I, I always like to say that people carry the glory because they've spent earthly time there. Come on. We are seated in heavenly yeah. places. Yes. That's, a, that's, a, that's the key. If you want to really start stepping out and doing some of the things that me and Taryn are talking about, realize and, and meditate on the scripture mm -hmm. that you are seated in heavenly places, and that will give you a grid to see what the Father is doing because Jesus saw what the Father was doing, and that's why he got the Father's results. You know, it's that simple. You know, yeah. it's really that simple, like a child. It is. Jesus always stepped away from all the chaos and the commotion come to on. go pray and to pray for hours. Yeah, come on. If Jesus has to go away and step away from all the distractions, then we need to we need to look at him as our example hmm. and know that we have to press in through prayer and meditation on the word. And we will get the blueprints for even the day. Acknowledge him in everything that you do. Wow. Yes, yeah, so, so we'll meet you there. So one of the things that as you were speaking, thank you, Holy Spirit. He reminded me of what the question, what I was talking about before. He just bombed me with the glory. Ooh. I remember... Um, so some of you guys that's been on here and you've cultivated the glory for a while, I want to just challenge you to go to the next level. One of the things the Lord is like challenging me, what Taryn said, is like I was in the airport one time. It took me 24 hours to get home. And they kept saying, lean back into my glory. Just I don't care what you're doing, what you're at, lean back. It's a strength a supernatural strength. And so, you know, I couldn't go to bed. There was nowhere to sleep. There was chaos going on. Da, da, da. He just said, step back, step into my glory. And I would just stand there and I'd feel the refreshing come. And I was at work the other day. I, I work at, as a therapist and I was in the hospital and I was seeing patients and it was later in the afternoon. You know, we had had lots of people coming in and uh, the Lord just said, sling back into my glory. So I just stepped back for a second. And I just felt that, oh, man, there's so much. Um, it's like labor to enter the rest. Yeah. The rest of his presence. It's like a, uh, making a choice, a daily decision. Like what Taryn said, when you're doing clothes or you're doing the dishes. And, you know, whether you're a stay-at-home mom or, or you're out in the work field, you can impact your children with what you cultivate in the glory and your bloodline. Yes. Come on. Yes, it's so important that you lead by example with Come the on. life of seeking Jesus for your kids to see. Come on. It, it will rub off on your kids. And there's no greater thing than seeing your kids experience the glory and be hungry for the glory and oh. know that it's possible at any age to seek the Lord and experience his presence. Yeah, come on. I know God said, if you're out of balance, you're leaning on me. <laughs> if you're out of balance, you're leaning on me. I just love like what uh, Taryn was saying, that as she responded in hunger, and wanted to know God, just like he filled the temple, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel 444, he filled the temple. You know, we, that's what I, I love to just speak about. Um, anything you want to share about us just being the temple for people that have never heard that before, never grasped that before, um, just share whatever you feel led, Taryn. Yeah, I feel like... We go and get filled up Come on. in this secret place. And we get filled up with the wine in our wine skins that we can go out and we Come can on. share that wine with other people. And the effects of the wine are contagious. And when we carry the glory, it will rub off on other people. 
and it'll get other people interested in the glory and other people will want to taste and see that the Lord is good. Come on. So Come on. we are the glory carriers. We host the glory. You know, we carry the Holy Spirit with us. He dwells within us. Just like in Ezekiel 44, 4, it's the same thing because of Jesus. That's what's so awesome that Jesus did that for us. It just, yeah. It's so amazing. Ooh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So, Taryn, even as you were speaking, I could see you like, I don't know if you write, do you, do you write your blog. Have you ever thought about a book? I have. Okay, because I just see you writing a book to equip seers that you, you're going to stretch their language. Whoa. You're going to stretch their language. You're going to help them through the the knocks of fear and the attacks and, and man, it's going to be awesome. I'm just seeing like a hammer in your hand as you're riding it. Whoa. It's going to have the breaker anointing. Ooh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus name. Thank you. Lord. Wow. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Does anybody have any questions about the glory while we're on here? Every once in a while, I'd just like to open it up for questions. If you have a question about the glory, we, we'll just ask the Holy Spirit. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we've talked about cultivating the glory. We've talked about, I know for me, like we've done a lot of deliverance on here. Part of, of being able to cultivate the glory is getting delivered. Yes. And um, I know there's some people on here that have been struggling with rejection. I can just right. feel it. Um, you want to share any of your um, process or battle that you ever had with rejection? Yeah. I think anybody Come on. who has experienced the glory and carries the glory, you're misunderstood a lot. Mm. You think differently. Because you've seen differently. Hmm. And when you see the world through the Father's eyes, you're not going to act like everybody else. So Come you on. stick out a little bit. But we're meant to stick out Come on. in a way that attracts people to know, what are you doing differently? And so with rejection, hmm. You have to be so rooted in the Father's love. Come on. So it won't break you. Come on. So it won't get, the enemy will use rejection to get into your head and to keep you from pressing into the more. Come on. I can't really share a whole lot of rejection stories. Um, but people will look at you like you are the enemy sometimes because you're misunderstood when they haven't tasted the glory tasted and seen that the lord is good they misunderstand you and they you get treated differently yeah. but because we are children of the lord we just have to know who we are come on and we don't care about what words are spoken about us because Come on. We who we are we know our identity in christ and we find it in the glory yes with father <laughs> come on and it gives us such so amazing confidence. yeah yeah amen such a strong confidence and even as we brought that up i've seen somebody crying in the spirit so as we brought up rejection you might be feeling a little teary-eyed right now Ooh. So, Lord, we just break that rejection off of them in Jesus' name. We just yeah. command any, I just command any generational curse of rejection be broken yeah. off of them. We uproot that spirit of rejection right now, Lord, any orphan spirit with it. Mm -hmm. We just release the love of the Father in place of that orphan mm -hmm. spirit, in place of that rejection. We just break, I break the trauma. I see somebody who has had great trauma. From rejection if you're under the sound of my voice just receive that word if you've had trauma from rejection i just erase that i just command that cellular memory of that rejection and trauma off of you right now yeah. and holy spirit i just ask that you pour into their heart 
that the love of the Father would just touch them in the deepest places right now. And Lord, I just release your glory over them. Yes, Lord. Your presence over them, the love of the Father. Yes. There's such transformation, like Taryn was talking about. There's such transformation in the glory. There is, and I feel like there may be somebody watching or will watch that is just so broken and wounded from the past because of what people have said about you. Mm. And the Lord is saying, you need to use your own words to reverse Mm. the curse and you need to speak over yourself, your identity, Um, affirmations, you know, I am a child of God. Come on. I am a glory carrier, you know, speak to your destiny. Speak it out loud. Speak it over yourself. Cover yourself. And it will reverse. It will reverse the things that people have spoken over you. And it will mend your heart. Come on. I love it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. So, Lord, we just release that inner healing anointing. I just feel it flowing right now. Lord, I just release that Mm -hmm. over the hearts that are watching right now. That you even touch the scar tissue of their heart right now. I just see that the Holy Spirit's just pouring out a new um, love of the Father in those places. I see abandonment leaving right now. Whoa. I see um, just hatred, unforgiveness leaving right now. Just come out of agreement with any hatred or unforgiveness for the things that were done to you. I just stand in the gap and repent for whoever did that to you. I just repent. Whether they talk bad about you, they harmed you, they traumatized you. And I just say, forgive them, just release them. Sometimes it's just easier to forgive when the Holy Spirit um, just allows your heart to be mended. To just say, Lord, I choose to forgive them. I choose your love instead. Yes, we uproot the spirit of rejection. We uproot the orphan spirit. Lord, thank you, Lord. We just release that spirit of adoption right now. The Holy Spirit is a child of God. That you, I just, if that's you, and and this has meant something to you, and you, your heart's been touched, or the Holy Spirit's doing something in your heart. I just want to challenge you to meditate on Romans eight fourteen over the next week and just say, I am a child of God. I am a son or daughter of God. I am led by Him and. And isn't that a process, Taryn, especially when you walk in the giftings that, that we carry and, and that different people carry? Isn't it a process to realize that your daughter and a son at the end of the day? Yeah, it is. You I can think. see in the spirit just by being a daughter and a son. Yeah, and you know what? You can easily forget sometimes that you are and you have to enter into that secret place. And the Lord will show you again and again and again. Come on. Who you were created to be. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, because it's so easy to see what everybody else is doing on social media. It's easy to see other people's giftings. Mm. Come on. And you feel like they're more qualified than you. They're more anointed than you. They carry the glory better than you. Mm-hmm. you no. Know? Don't you love how the enemy does that yeah. and tries to get us into comparison? Yeah. Oh, the devil's a liar, right? Yes. I don't want to be you and you don't want to be me. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. And we look at all these people. And the Lord was saying, if you just look at my face. Come on. See your true identity, but keep your focus on my face and not everyone else. It's between me and you. Be rooted in me. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a bunch of new people logging in. So we've prayed over fibromyalgia. So if you have fibromyalgia, just rewatch this broadcast or replay this podcast because we prayed for um, fibromyalgia and gave out a few more words of knowledge. So I'm just um, 
I'm just feeling the glory just really building right now. So if, if you need prayer for anything for healing um, that we haven't called out and Taryn, you can call out any more words that you want to. But uh, if, if we haven't said something, I just don't, I want to give everybody opportunity that's live right now that we can pray in this, in this glory realm that's here right now for your breakthrough. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Is the, I'm just seeing a nerve in somebody's eye. I just see nerve damage right now. So, Lord, we just declare in the glory right now. We just command creative order to that eye right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we just thank you, Lord, that you just release a new nerves from heaven. They're just going into that eye right now in the name of Jesus Christ. If that's you, just respond. It could be somebody on the replay, but just let us know. Yes. Yes. It could be your left eye. Thank you, Lord. Yes. So just yes. just share a little bit about that, Donna. Did you feel anything when we we prayed? Um, your left eye. We just speak to any damage or any trauma that could be in that left eye. In Jesus' name. Somebody said, don't have a word for it, but unusual symptoms for the last six years, rain from burning ears to rashes to neuropathy, but I command it to leave. Yes. Come on. Yes. Angela said dizziness. Go for it, Terry. Lord, we just break off dizziness. Come on. We break off brain fog. That could be attached to dizziness. Lord, we just break that off of her right now in the name of Jesus. I know with dizziness. Yeah. Anything attacking her mind that's Come keeping on. her feeling like she's out of sorts, Lord. Hmm. I believe that word was for you, Donna. I seen trauma coming off an eye. And you've been hit four times. So we just come in agreement with that word that that trauma is broken off your eye. And those nerves are being recreated by the power of the Holy Spirit. We just command creative order to your eye. And Mariah, I just want to encourage you. Last night, me and my husband went and prayed for somebody who had neuropathy in her feet and legs. I mean, her feet and hands. And um, before we left, she was moving. So I just released that. The Spirit of Jesus is the Spirit of Test Prophecy. It's a testimony of Jesus Christ. So I just pray from any generational curses over your life. We just break them right now in the name of Jesus Christ in unity with Taryn. And I just say that there's life and health. I just command the nerve endings and anywhere that neuropathy has been trying to attack you. We just break it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we just command creative order to your nerve endings in yeah. Jesus name. Angela's responding to your word, tearing about brain fog. Yes. Yes. We command it to go in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Nerve compression, entire spine hmm. is one of the requests. So Lord, we just come under the power of agreement and your glory and your presence that's here right now. Lord, and we just declare that, Lord, you're you're above every spinal disorder. We just thank you, Lord, that right now we just command from heaven a new spine, new tendons, new disc, new tissues from the top of her, from the C1 all the way down to the last vertebrae in her back, Lord. We just call creative order, and we command all trauma, all nerve compression off that back right now. We just command create all nerve pain. I see inflammation and nerve pain. So I just command all that, that inflammation around your nerves. And we just command new nerves from, from heaven right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Full restoration. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We just command creative order. Thank you, yes, Jesus. Lord. I feel like there's somebody who has carpal tunnel in their hand. And it's... Hindering them from being creative. Mm, wow. And creating. Come on. So if that's Thank you, I'd love to pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. So break off night terrors, Taryn. Yes. So Lord, I command every spirit Come on. that is attacking 
in dreams that is coming into dreams. We plead the blood of Jesus over the night realms of these people. And that nothing but the Holy Spirit could enter in to the dream realm or even into the bedrooms where people sleep, Lord. Mm-hmm. That only you are allowed to speak to them in the night. So we cut off the attacks, the demonic assignments and attacks in the night realm in the name of mm-hmm. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. No more mm-hmm. night terrors in Jesus' name. Just the edge of protection over on. these people's Thank you for your angels, Great. Lord. Psalms 91. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I see somebody on here struggling with isolation and loneliness. So we just break off that loneliness. We command it off you in the name of Jesus Christ so that you can experience the acceptance and love and glory of the Father. Thank you, Jesus. And just release your presence. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> it's so weighty, Taryn. I feel like I could just go soak for hours. <laughs> oh, no, it's like the, the sleepiness comes on you and the heaviness and it's like, come away with me. Come on. That's an invitation. I love yes. what Taryn said. So yep. that's why I, we, we do these glory stories because it's an invitation from the Father to experience his presence as, as he releases it in the atmosphere and just just give you the tools as we're, we're talking about this stuff. It's the tools to how to cultivate it. It's so simple, isn't it, Taryn? It's like a child. It is. It That's is. where he keeps going. It's like a child. Ooh, I know. It's like I know we should let – let everybody go unless there's any more prayer requests, but it's so thick. I don't want to move. <laughs> you know, the Lord keeps reminding me that I need to say um, Matthew 21, 22. If you believe you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. And if, and if you're asking in prayer to encounter him, he's going to meet you. Come if you on. believe you will receive it's not just sickness. It's not, you know, it's not heal, always healing, but ask him for um, a visitation. Yeah, come on. Come on. Go there. Just pray. Pray for yeah. people to have encounters with Jesus. The Lord. Come on. Meet them at their hunger, Father God. Mm. Your word mm-hmm. says that whatever we ask for him, prayer if we believe it we will receive it and lord i pray that you would encounter these viewers Come right on. where they're sitting right now lord let your weighty presence listeners yeah encounter them in their dreams lord i pray fresh visions Come on. lord encounter them where they are in jesus name amen come on, okay, come on. uh whew. I guess we'll impart if you feel like you want, if you're willing to impart to anybody under the sound of our voice, whatever you feel led to impart, just go for it. So Lord, I am part a deeper revelation of who you are as the father that we can enter into your kingdom with childlike faith and you will take care of us. Lord, open the hearts of the people to fully understand who you are. So I just impart a deeper hunger and a deeper revelation to the viewers in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, I just impart right now that that's, that seer anointing, Lord, that the mm-hmm. eyes, people are asking about why they can't see. So, Lord, I just declare increase. Anything that I have that you've freely given me, Lord, I just mm-hmm. give to anyone under the sound of my voice. I freely impart any spiritual gift that I carry that they need for their assignment on earth. I just release it in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that you're opening up dreams. Yeah. You're opening up visions. You're opening up the healing and the miracle. Just, I, I just don't give up. Me and Taryn are testimonies of we are totally set free and healed from severe debilitating fibromyalgia. So whether, no matter what it is, do not give up because he will bring the victory as you stand. Yes, yes. We just declare victory. 
Oh, yeah. in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, even as we get off of here, this glory is so thick. I just want to release it. I'll have me and Taryn just release it in unity. We just release the glory. I just ask that you fill everybody with the sound of our voice, Lord, that they just they just feel your glory after they get off of here and they just go spend time in your presence yes. when they get done playing this replay. Thank you, yes. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Obey the invitation. Come on. That's good. Come on. I love it. So we're ending this glory story with an invitation for you to go sit with the presence of the Father yeah. and just apply some of the tools that we've talked about. So, Taryn, I just want to thank you for, for sharing your story and just being who you are. I just celebrate what God is doing in this season and the impact that you're going to have in people's lives. It's going to be amazing. Yes, thank you. And I just feel like, have you ever thought about being like an equip equipping center like a launch pad for people have i thought about it yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah the so lord i just speak a blessing yeah, come i on. speak favor thank you jesus over their destiny that you would use them hmm. speak and to other people to raise them up and to launch them out in the name of Jesus. I declare you are stretching their tent pegs in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Greater, greater glory, greater influence. I speak greater Amen. influence. This influence, Lord, more, more, more. Thank you, Lord. I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh. It's so funny. We're wrapping up. And yeah. I was like, man, we didn't even talk about Africa. I feel like we just yeah. got started. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll yeah. just do a sequel in a couple of months. It's so <laughs> thick. So we'll just have to do to to share some glory stories from the nations. Yeah. But next time we'll just do it. That's awesome. Ooh. Yeah, maybe we could do that after October too. So we have yeah after done. you go to Pakistan. Yeah, I just want to share. I'm going to put up a link after we get off of this uh, podcast, or or if you're watching Facebook Live, um, if people want to give to your missions trip to Pakistan to harvest the nations and to go with Charlie Champ, Dusty Encounters, where can they give to? <laughs> I can post your PayPal. Is there any certain thing? Um, the, anywhere else or is that the best place to sew? Um, you can give by my PayPal, paypal.me slash Yancey. And I also have a Facebook fundraiser going on. Yay. So yeah. I will repost that. Yes. Yes. I want to see the dead. Ready. She's ready for Pakistan. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. we're going to have to do one of these glory stories after Pakistan because I just want to speak to everybody watching. The command is to go, to go to the nations. So if you step out, God will make a way. And, and we'll be sharing some of Taryn's stories when she gets back because the glory shows up when you go to nations. But know what nation and who you're supposed to go with. Right, Taryn? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. Thank it's you. It'll be awesome. It'll be amazing. And God is going to reach the multitudes, thousands upon thousands will encounter the love of Jesus in Pakistan, just like Amen. in Kenya and just like they just did in Malawi. Come on. God is it changes you, right? It's just like the glory. It, changes it is like you. Yeah. To go to the nations and, the, and the, to see the love of the father in action. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Thanks for running the race with me, sister. Yep. I love it. Yes, <laughs> oh. Maybe we'll get to do a mission trip together one time. Yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. Do it, Lord. Yeah. We'll go, right? Yes. Amen. So thank you. Thank you for having me on here. Oh, my honor. It's so weighty. I was like, oh, Lord. I don't want to move. I don't want to move either. Everybody, just feel the glory. Just sit here and watch us talk in the glory. But. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
we're just thankful. We celebrate the Father's presence. So I just want to thank you for everybody that's been giving me feedback of how the glory stories has really just helped cultivate it, new things in their life, brought breakthrough, brought healing. Yes. So if you've had a testimony or, or something that you really, a revelation on one of these glory stories that really just uh, transformed your life, just message me. Just message me. You can email me, april.stutzman at yahoo.com if there's been something amazing. Um, you, sp you experienced a deliverance that, that changed your life if you were healed from fibromyalgia when we were tearing played. Yeah. Hey, April. <laughs> Thank you both. Aw, you're welcome, Trina. <laughs> Neither one of us want to move, do we, Taryn? <laughs> Truly, the glory is so heavy. Just bless Trina with more glory this week. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Just give her more, Lord. Her. Just let give everybody more, on here, Lord. Be refreshing the glory all night. Just let them listen into a, a new realm that they've never even listened to your voice as we describe the revelation. We'll just fire off as they sleep, Lord, of who you are. Yes. I declare sweet sleep. And a mom, Lord, in the night. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I don't even want to lift my hands a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. It's so funny. We got to do a trip together, girl. Yeah. Let's just get, make it happen, Lord. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Well, be blessed. I know. I don't want to move. Lord, just bless Taryn. Let her just go get wrecked in the glory. And blessings to all. We love you guys. And keep pressing into the presence of God because He wants to know you. Yes. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Jesus. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, lady. Bye. Bye. And everybody, that is another glory story for you. So I would just like to challenge you on the different things that you heard my guest talk about on the glory today to just get alone with God and ask him to help you cultivate his presence in your everyday life and see what kind of glory story that God wants you to be a part of.